Out front tonight, a stunning claim from the Attorney General Bill Barr. He said he thinks the Obama administration spied on the Trump campaign. I think spying on a political campaign is a big deal. You're not suggesting, though, that spying occurred? I don't, uh, well, uh, I guess you could, I, I think there was a spying did occur. Yes, I think spying did occur. Okay, all that pausing and um, well, and then the key words, I think, I think, I think. Of course, the problem is think is not an appropriate standard for the highest ranking law enforcement official in the United States. Proof is the only acceptable term for such an incredible accusation to be leveled in public testimony to the American people. So when Barr was asked directly, did he have proof? On what basis was he making this accusation of spying? Here's what happened. I'm now asking what the basis is or what the facts are that lead you to that thought. Uh, okay, I, I felt I am concerned about it, and I was asked about whether there was any basis for it, and I believe there is a basis for my concern, but I'm not going to discuss the basis. Felt and believe. Neither of those words are synonymous with proof. Again, we're talking about an accusation of spying, which he says he has some, some concerns about and, and basis for, but he backed up with absolutely no proof. And Barr is an incredibly accomplished lawyer. He knew exactly what he was saying, because what he was doing was repeating what we have all heard from his boss. There's a big thing going on right now, which is spying. They spied on me. They spied on our campaign. Bill Barr knew that Donald Trump was watching today, not just the American people, but the president. And the one person he seems to be speaking directly to is President Donald Trump. So is there a there there? Well, the vice chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Mark Warner, who, of course, has been investigating Russian interference in the U.S. election in the Trump campaign for nearly two years, was asked today by CNN, have you ever heard anything like this accusation, of spying on the Trump campaign, from the intelligence community? Here's the answer. So you've never been told what he said today? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So the Attorney General of the United States, who knows that the entire genesis of the Mueller investigation itself is already being looked at by Barr's Inspector General, that's been being under investigation for over a year, comes out today and says he thinks there was spying. If Barr has something to say about those results, he should put out the facts. And by the way, before he levels accusations based on feelings, thoughts, and beliefs, why not let the country read the Mueller report? Caitlin Collins is out front at the White House tonight. And Caitlin, what Bill Barr had to say today must have been music to the president's ears. Yeah, this was a major assertion by the top law enforcement official in the country. And Aaron, as you showed right there, it's echoing what President Trump has said for months, though maybe in less certain terms. Now, this came as a surprise to people inside the West Wing. Several people I spoke with today were not expecting Bill Barr to make the statements that he did today, because even though the president has insisted for months that his campaign was spied on, people in the White House have been less hesitant to say as much. They instead let the president say it, but they haven't gone that far. Now, what Bill Barr said it's already being cheered by the president's allies, including Mark Meadows, the congressman from North Carolina. And you can expect more statements like that to come from President Trump once he sees these remarks, because he's been traveling all day in Texas while Bill Barr was testifying. But before the president even left the White House this morning for Texas, he was already talking about this. And he was saying that the Mueller investigation was essentially illegally started. And he said it was a he believed it was an attempted coup on his campaign. Aaron, that was way before Bill Barr even made those remarks. So certainly when the president sees them, he is going to take full advantage of them. All right. Thank you very much, Caitlin. I want to go now to Democratic Senator Richard Blumenthal of the Judiciary Committee, also the former attorney general for Connecticut. Senator, good to have you with me. So um, you and uh, the minority leader Chuck Schumer among the Democrats calling on the attorney general to retract, to formally retract his statement that spying on the Trump campaign did occur. Uh, you know, you heard he said he thinks, uh, he, he believes, he says that he has basis for his concerns. Do you think he's making up that he has basis for that concern, or could he really have something? First of all, he acknowledged there is no evidence, that's his term, no evidence for the claim of spying. Second, his credibility will be absolutely shredded if he fails to retract this mm -hmm. assertion 
as Attorney General of the United States, he is supposed to represent the justice system and the people of the United States, not serve as Donald Trump's consigliere or his Roy Cohn, as Donald Trump wanted an attorney general to be. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's feeding that false narrative. He's mm. creating an ad for Donald Trump's next campaign. You can bet you'll see that clip in the Donald Trump campaign. And I think he has to withdraw this remark. So why do you think he did it? I mean, I pointed out, look, this is a person who is respected by a lot of people, a lot of people on both sides of the aisle, a person with a long and very credible career. Do you really think he just went out there today and, and basically knew he was going to kind of trash that reputation? You know, Aaron, it's really a mystery. Here's a man who was highly regarded as an institutionalist. That was the term used right. about him during his confirmation proceedings. You could agree or disagree with him, but he was going to be a professional. And this remark is about as unprofessional for any prosecutor as it could possibly be. This term is literally stunning for anyone who has done surveillance or intercepts or criminal investigations, and I think it will forever taint his tenure. All right, so obviously, as I pointed out, right, the inspector general's been looking at the genesis of the Mueller investigation itself for over a year. So there is an investigation which would include anything that happened uh, as a predicate to the Mueller investigation. But Barr says he thinks that there needs to be, uh, it seems, another investigation as to whether uh, the spying on the Trump campaign happened. And let me play part of that exchange for you, Senator. I don't, uh, well, uh, I guess you could, I, I think there's a spying did occur. Yes, I think spying did occur. Well, let me. But the uh, question is whether it was predicated, adequately predicated. And I'm not suggesting it wasn't adequately predicated, but I'd need to explore that. I think it's my obligation. Congress is usually very concerned about intelligence agencies and law enforcement agencies staying in their proper lane, and I want to make sure that happened. Does he have a point there? Well, here's his point that's well taken. For any kind of surveillance, there has to be a predicate. What that means right. in law enforcement terms is there has to be an alleged violation of law raising probable cause for this intrusion into personal privacy. That's what mm -hmm. FISA courts look at, what other courts look at before they issue a warrant for a wiretap, for example. Yes. Uh, where he's off the rails is referring to it as spying and saying he has unanswered questions that need to be answered before he can reach a conclusion without acknowledging that there is an investigation. His own inspector general is looking at precisely that question. Right. And by the way, you made the point earlier, and it is perhaps one of the most important points here, that one way to answer some of his questions would be to disclose the Mueller report. Likely, that report will answer most of these questions. Right, which, of course, as I said, we need to have. Now, we know there were FISA warrants on Carter Page, uh, FISA warrants on Paul Manafort before the campaign and after, but not during the campaign. Those are what we know thus far. Um, but Barr then commented, Senator, further on his concerns about uh, whether there was, again, the, the word spying, of course, is, is a deeply charged word and an inappropriate word, it would seem. But I want to play uh, his reasoning for why he thinks it's important for the American people uh, to know uh, w what he's saying. Here he is. There are also kind of, there can be abuses that may not arise to the level of a, of a crime, but that, you know, people might think is bad and want to put in rules or prophylaxis against it. The argument there seems to be the same argument that we may see from the Mueller report, right? There could be abuses that may not arise to the level of a crime, but people still have a right to know about them. And he is right that if there were abuses, if there were violations of law, which his own inspector general is likely to at least find out, that is, whether there were, then there should be action. But the point is the American people deserve to see the Mueller report. That's the reason I've offered legislation yeah bipartisan legislation that would compel disclosure. And that's really the way to begin answering these questions. Give the American people what they need and deserve. They paid for this investigation. They deserve to see it.